Maserati is a brand synonymous with racing and innovative technology, and today is no exception. I'm here to find out the inside track on driving a very special car, the Maserati Spider. As well as an all new 4.2 litre V8 naturally aspirated engine, this beautiful car has a state of the art transmission, the Cambio Corsa racing gearbox. Engineered, modelled, and built at Maserati's factory in Modena using Formula One racing technology. And here to explain it to us is ex Ferrari Formula One racing driver Ivan Capelli. Welcome to a very rainy Britain. I'm sorry. Typical from England, like, I must say. <laughs> we see, we don't care because we put the hood down regardless of the weather in this country. That's oh, okay. Now, I know you're not driving for uh, Ferrari anymore, so tell me, what are you doing for Maserati now? Well, in addition uh, to presenting the Formula One for the Italian television, I'm running the track uh, driving days for Ferrari and uh, Maserati owners. And it's from a healthy then that uh, I can say that the new Coupe and new Spider are the best Maserati I have ever driven. Yeah, but you would say that, wouldn't you? Do not look at my logo, <laughs> please. <laughs> so tell me, why is this particular Spider so special? It's a real sports car because the, the top speed is 175 miles per hour. And there is an advanced racing transmission called the Cambio Corsa. And it's giving to the driver two choices, the possibility of uh, selecting manual or automatic. And after that, you can choose also sport mode or normal mode. And uh, with the sport mode, there is also in connection the Skyhook uh, suspension. But we are going to talk uh, about this uh, later. Now, you know, weather like this, is sports mode something that you're going to be able to use? No, actually, it's better to use it uh, with a good condition uh, for weather and driving condition as well. But there are also two other options uh, for con concerning the gearbox, uh, ice and snow. Please don't wish that on us as well, if you don't mind. No, no, this is, we cross the finger to keep at least the weather like that, because in this uh, weather, you would like to stay at home uh, in front of a fireplace in a big chair. <laughs> well, maybe, but actually, I don't want to be in front of a fireplace in a big chair. I much prefer to be in that big chair, which looks very comfortable indeed. Okay, let's go then. What was that noise as you opened the door? That sound uh, that you hear comes from the pump that uh, pressurizes the hydraulic system. It's activated as soon as you open uh, the door, so everything is ready for you from the moment you want to get in. Well, everything might be ready in the car, but this new advanced transmission, this takes getting used to, doesn't it? Uh, is it anything like, I don't know, a Steptronic or a Tiptronic or even a, a manually operated no, uh, no, gear? No, system? not at all, Michelle. Cambio Corsa is a true mechanical gearbox with the option available so you can tune the car for the potential. With the manual, he's using the pedal to select the gear or automatic. And then the gears are changed for you to suit the way you want to drive in the city, on the open road, or uh, on the track. Always in safety condition. But this system is going to take getting used to, isn't it? After all, we're all used to having a clutch and a gear lever to change. This is really something quite different. It's true that in a conventional car, you use the left foot to, to engage the clutch and your hand to select the gear. With the Cambio Corsa, everything is done electronically and carried out hydraulically. So you retain the control of the car, always. <laughs> I see, I tell you it's true, isn't it? As soon as the hood goes down, weather improves. This is Maserati organization, Michelle. <laughs> is that what it is? Now, you've explained how the system works. Now, show me how it really operates in action. It's very simple. Now we have a manual selection. So I just have to use the paddles. So on the right side, I'm pulling up the gears. The one on the left one, 
I'm going down. Then, if I want to put the neutral, yeah. you just have to pull the two paddles uh, together. But that's really dangerous. Say you did that by mistake when you were driving along. No, no, that, not actually. It's not dangerous because then you can either touch the left one or the right one. And then you're selecting the safer gear, considering the engine speed and also, obviously, the engine revs. So it's just getting your brain around the fact that you're not working with a clutch and a gear lever, isn't it? Yeah, you don't have the, the, the clutch, you don't have the gear lever, you just have to tune the right touch for the paddles. So what's the difference in the suspension between normal and sport mode? In normal mode, uh, you have uh, the maximum comfort uh, and the suspension is giving the best uh, road holding in all conditions. In uh, sport mode, uh, it's giving uh, the maximum for the high performance concerning the driving style. So it's a straightforward system of operation, but is there anything else that one should remember? Yes, you should keep your foot on the brake to keep the gears engaged while stationary. And then also do not using the left foot on braking because it's difficult to find the sensitivity on the left foot. So especially when you're in the traffic or you're maneuvering, do not do this. But if you feel uh, Michael Schumacher, you are free to do it, <laughs> <laughs> obviously. Right. Well, no, I'm certainly no Michael Schumacher, but I'd love to have a go. Okay, let's go mm. then. Okay, okay Michelle. Awesome. First of all, uh, running the engine. <laughs> but remember and put uh, the foot on, on the, the brake, brake pedal. Okay. That's right, because this is a safety procedure. Yeah. And then put the first. But you just have to put the, the throttle down, uh, the accelerator, gently because it's operating like the clutch now. If you put obviously ah, too okay. quick, then it's also engaging the clutch too quick. Then off the end brake and then have a very smooth start. Okay, so I'm driving along and um, this is the paddle for going up, yeah? Yeah, with the right one you can go up, yeah. with the left one you can go down, so it's very easy. You can see yeah, that can, it's I very easy and you can feel it, feel it because yeah. you just have to touch a little bit the pedal. But you have to judge it, don't you? You have to read the engine rather. Yeah, you have uh, the possibility in this uh, selection to go to the red line without actually using uh, the paddle on the steering and then the gearbox is thinking for you and is giving to you the up change. Also, when you reduce the speed, if you are going to brake, the gearbox is uh, thinking for you and is giving to you the lower gear. Well, say for example, I'm in second now and say, I don't know, I'm distracted or something and I, I literally don't, don't change at all. I mean, the car's going to stall, isn't it? No, no, it's going all alone in first gear giving to you the possibility to restart immediately. Yeah, it's gone. I it's see. Gone. Straight and so I can pick up immediately. Now, what about if I wanted to get into automatic mode? If you mode? want to go to the automatic, you just have to press the button inside the console. You have the confirmation on the dash. And now you can use uh, simply the gearbox and the car as an automatic car. Then you can use the kick down maneuvers. That means that you can put down the power like, yes, like yeah. that and then it's giving to you a lower gear yeah. or you can also use the pedals giving to you the opportunity to, to choose Okay, now what about if I want to get into sport mode? I feel sporty Sporty, you want to feel sporty you just have to press the button here again and then you have uh, obviously a quicker change you can feel it yeah. there are two additional speed for the shift that is giving to you obviously more power this is related to revs and uh, throttle position. Obviously, do not use a sport mode where the condition of the weather are not so good because you need the better grip on the road. Then also is changing the setup of the ASR. The ASR, again, there's another button down there. What's that all about? The, the ASR is a traction control system. Uh, is uh, the system that is avoiding the car to snap oversteer when you are, are putting down the power in a very low grip in the corner but it's better probably that I show you later. <laughs> Am I allowed to be in the car at the same time? Okay. <laughs> now Ivan has suggested that we observe from here whilst he shows us the difference that ASR makes to the Maserati's handling. Take it away. So this is how it's operating the ASR in normal mode. As you can see, it's reading the difference of uh, slip between the inside and outside tires. So it's not giving the permission of the back to sliding 
and uh, because it's cutting the engine torque and also is braking. Now we are testing with the sport mode, is still cutting the engine torque, but when it's not reading that the car is uh, exiting from the straight line, it's not using the brake at the back. And then we're going to see what is happening with the car without the ASR working. Now obviously it's important to remember that what Ivan's doing here shouldn't be tried on the road as if you would. This is very much something you only do on a test track. Ivan, that was all very spectacular, but what was really going on there? The Skyhook uh, suspension uh, is using a number of sensors on each wheel, reading and monitoring the movement of the dampers and the movement of the body of the car. And then this information are going to a central computer and then is adapting this computer stiffness of the dampers, considering the rolling, so it's giving to the driver the maximum of the grip. So how does the Skyhook system differ from the sort of suspension systems offered by other manufacturers? Yeah, it's actually a unique system because the other manufacturers actually they have to preset the position of the dampers and that's it, no, no other possibilities. With this system there is a, a variable infinity level situation of uh, adapting. So it's infinitely variable? Infinitely variable, that's right. Yeah. It's all a combination, isn't it? You've got the, the brand new gear change system, you've got the suspension system, and you've also got the ASR. And it's all that, I guess, that makes the driving experience. It's a driving experience that's come from the Formula One, from what Ferrari learned from the Formula One, that is now transferred to Maserati in the technology of these new cars. And for sure, the new Spider and new Coupe are a very safety car. It's easy to drive, it's easy to use, and you cannot make mistake at all. I think, you know, it's very easy to forget these are all important factors, but ultimately you buy this car for real enjoyment of driving, don't you? Absolutely. <laughs> now, Michelle, it's your turn with the new Spider Maserati Cambio Corsa. It's a sensation looking car and I have to say, it is a remarkably easy system to get used to, isn't it? Absolutely. But, ti aspetto al Master GT Maserati to teach you how to drive, <laughs> okay?